October is officially over. But do not fear because Moon Vember is here. Guys, we are in for another historically bullish month. If you take a look here at November, you can see that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, six out of the eight years have been bullish. Last year in November, we had a 42% move. In October, which we just closed, we had a 38.5% move. So what can we expect in Moon November? Well, that's what we're gonna talk about in today's video as we prepare for another all-time high watch. Hey, what's up? Jay here and welcome to Bitcoin Daily, bringing you guys the best tips, tutorials and ideas to help you guys become profitable and successful investors. The goal of this channel is to empower you, the community with the knowledge and resources to help take your wealth up to that next level. So if you guys enjoy this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on the notifications and smash the like button. Let's dive into today's video. So let's go ahead and do a recap from Friday's trade setups that we spoke about. The one that hit from Friday's video was of course the $60,000 entry. Basically it was a bounce back over 60K. As you guys know, 60K is a big support here for Bitcoin. And we got that overnight here. As you guys can see, if you were able to enter it here on the bottom and write it up to the top this morning, you would have done around 4% on that move. If you use 10X leverage like we do, you would have done around 40% profit on that move. So if you guys took that trade, congrats on those profits. All right, so as you guys know, we closed the monthly candle here yesterday and opened the new monthly candle of November. So how did we end up doing in October? We ended up going up around pretty much 40%, depending what exchange you're on. It's basically, I think the average is around 40% on the month of October, closing just above $61,000. That is officially the highest that Bitcoin, any Bitcoin monthly candle has ever closed. Very, very bullish here, guys. The previous high close was here in March, which was $58,000. If we zoom in here to the weekly chart, you, can, you guys can see that we had the big impulse move up. And then the past three weeks, we've kind of been creating this flag pattern, this symmetrical triangle pattern. It's basically been doji candles here for the last three weeks as we consolidate in this range. As you guys know, this is a typical bull flag setup. What that usually means is that we are going to eventually and inevitably continue to the upside. Now, how big can that move be? Well, if we go based off of the theory and principles of the bull flag, we can grab the beginning of the move here of what created that bull flag to about the, the top of this, then grab this and put this where we could potentially break out. So usually the breakout comes around here at that edge, right? So if we put that there, the bull flag is basically pointing to another 35% move to the upside when we do get that breakout, which gives us a price target of around $82,000 here, as you guys can see right there. So could we potentially see that move coming in the next couple of weeks? As you can see, that would happen in about two to three weeks. In two to three weeks, we would reach the, this right here, which is where the breakout or breakdown would need to happen. So that could potentially be happening between mid November to towards the end of November. So that's something that we will of course be watching as we continue to move throughout the month here. And of course guys, we've mentioned this several times before, but you guys already know that plan B said that November he expected $98,000. He's hit on the previous three months here August 47K, September 43K, and October 63K. So can he go 444? Can we hit $98,000 per Bitcoin this month? I guess only time can tell. 
If we zoom into the daily here, you can see pretty much the exact same pattern. We you see the big impulse move up. Then you see consolidation in between creating that bull flag gives us an approximate date for a breakout somewhere in mid November around the 20th. But of course, this could happen anytime before anytime after this. Just remember a, a approximation based on the pattern here. You can see that on the RSI, we are good. We're in neutral territory, which could support another move up here. Now, if we actually take our time and draw out some straight lines here, draw out the, the channel, what it kind of looks like at the moment, you can see that we're in this descending channel with this descending resistance line right here which we've been rejected off multiple times. You can see that we've been bouncing off the bottom here on this support line as well. So we're currently at the upper side of this channel. Now, where would that breakout be? If we look at the, these two wicks here, that's pretty much around 62,000 towards the, the mid 62,000, right? And if we look at this one right here, this one's around right, right about 63,000. I'm thinking if we can get break out above 63,000, it will kind of put us above this one right here. And that could potentially trigger a breakout here where we can once again, you know, retest this previous high of 67,000. Now, of course, we're not going all the way exactly to 67. First, we have to get through 65. Why? Because it is a whole number, first of all. Second of all, it is a previous all time high. So that could possibly behave similar to 40. Remember, $42,000, which was also a previous all time high. 65K could behave in a similar matter there, where if we break above it, we could, we could pretty much shoot up, you know, potentially hitting and breaking this all time high and continuing our move up. So above 63,000 is currently where I have that breakout level there to the upside to break out of this channel and break out of this bull flag for a continuation to the upside. Now the bottom of this flag is going to currently be sitting around 56 to 55 thousand dollars it just depends you know what day it might hit in and this of course is in the event that we go down this low so for example today that's closer around that fifty six thousand dollar area tomorrow that'll that'll be around 55 then wednesday that'll turn into like 54 maybe right by the end of the week you know that that bottom of the channel could be potentially towards that $52,000 area. So timing is, you know, we will of course change where the bottom of this channel is. So that's something that we need to keep our eye on. Remember that right now we're currently at the top of this channel. Of course, the support zones here are still relevant. That 60K support level, as you guys can see, we've been bouncing off of there for the last, what, one, two, three, four, four days it has been holding us up plus it played a major role over here as well now if we fall beyond that then of course that next area there is this one here which held us up which is fifty eight thousand dollars you can see that over here it was a resistance previously and then beyond that we're gonna be looking back at that fifty five thousand dollar range and of course down here is gonna be fifty two thousand dollars those will be the supports in the event that, you know, for some reason we're pulling back further and further. You know, it, there is a scenario where we could test the bottom of this pattern before we continue on our way up. Now, do I think that's going to happen? I don't think so, but it is a scenario that could occur which is why I'm bringing it to you guys. Now, if you guys have made it this far in the video, then you deserve a reward. That reward is going to be the trade setups that we are watching for throughout this week, basically, to try to make some profit. So these are usually day trades and scalps. Now, before we jump into that, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. Also, smash that like button. It helps us out a ton. And if you have any questions about anything that we're talking about in this video, drop it in the comments. So let's go ahead and dive into this week's trade entry setups. So the first entry that we're going to be looking for, the entry to the upside, is going to be above $63,000. We spoke about this trade also on Friday's video. Um, I think we said it was above sixty. dollars 
350. So you guys can use that same entry, which would be above this. And that could potentially be the breakout that leads us back up to $65,000. Now for any pullback entry, the entry that we will be watching here is of course $60,000 again, looking for a bounce entry there. And beyond that, we will be looking at $58,000 for a bounce entry. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like it the video if you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, of course, drop it in the comments. That's pretty much it for us today. I will see you guys on the next one. As always, peace and love.